What's up y'all? Trey be dipping in the building. You know what time it is. So in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to basically replace the speakers in your Honda Prelude. So stay tuned. Alright, so I'm here at the infamous MR Dips, you feel me? Um I just finished the car. Uh the Chevy SS. I'm doing uh Pearl White basically. I'll throw a picture right here. Um but anyway, at the shop, I just finished that car, so I got some free time on my hands and I'm about to install these bad boys right here. So, um these are, and this is not a sponsored video, I just have had good luck with this brand, the Kicker brand. They're really affordable and they put out pretty decent quality products, man. So I went with these. Uh, I got these on Amazon. I'll put a link to the description if you guys are interested in getting these same ones. Once you hear the sound test at the end, um, the link will be in the description below. That being said, let's go ahead and open her up and see what's inside. Obviously, some speakers, but let's see what see what's really going down. All right, so I got everything uh, out of the box. The one hand bandit wasn't working, so um, obviously you got the speakers. The speakers come with like this optional cover piece, which if they're going in the door panel, you won't need that. Um, however on the top and the back by the back windshield you may be able to use these for the back we'll see when we get to that point um, it does come with some butt connectors I think they're called uh, comes with some extra screws and this is the most important thing in my opinion is it comes with the uh, connectors which is good you don't have to custom make and crimp and all that extra stuff um, the only thing you're gonna need other than that is your handy dandy uh, wire strippers slash cutters. If you do any type of wiring, you gotta have a pair of these, man. You have to. It's worth it. Plus, they're not that expensive. Um, and then the company that I uh, ordered from through Amazon, they actually sent these uh, panel poppers, which uh, could come in handy um, taking door panels off. So um, now that we see everything that's in the box, the next step is actually to use these, and we're gonna get the door panels off. All right. So, uh, there are pretty much three screws that you have to pay attention to. You got one right here behind the, uh, the handle, one in the cup holder, or not the cup holder, but the door. I uh, guess something like a cup holder. And then the last one is going to be on the bottom side of the door right here. Once you get those three, then we'll start popping these. Taking it out is not hard, but um, taking it out without breaking it is the hard part. Alright, so 
so now we got access to the speaker so it looks like the speakers have already been replaced before these definitely are not OEM I can't even read what it says crew crew in Vega I don't think that's OEM but uh, it looks like he put some dynamat behind here I'll leave that there so uh, should be like four screws holding the speaker in disconnect the connectors in the back and that's pretty much it So since these speakers come with their own uh, connectors, I'm just going to basically cut the ends of these and wire them together. Um, there is, usually with speakers, there's usually uh, one end is usually bigger than the other. So you want to keep that and match those up. So these already have, this one's the smaller one, and this one looks like the bigger one. So I'll just make sure that this smaller one matches to this smaller one, and this big one matches to this big one. So now you pretty much push these connectors on. Goes one, make sure you push them all the way down. Two. And there you go. So now, before you put everything completely all the way together, you do want to make sure they work. So I'm just going to stick this in here before I screw it in and uh, make sure the speaker works. Alright, so the rear speakers are pretty simple to do in comparison to the front, especially if you're not used to taking off door panels and stuff like that. But um, this is the rear speaker. If this thing would focus, thank you, sir. Um, so basically, I already disconnected the, the uh, harness clip piece, but you just push those in, pull out. If, you, if your uh, rear speakers have never been replaced, this is what the stock one looks like. Um, and then there is three 10 millimeter bolts holding it in from the bottom. Once you get those unscrewed, we should be able to just push up and remove from the inside of the car. All right, so I got both the speakers out, of the rear speakers. Uh, that probably literally took me um, like 30 seconds to get both out. Um, so like I said, literally you just take those three 10 millimeters off. Um, and then make sure you disconnect the connector and then they pop right out. So, I doubt I'm gonna be able to put the speaker just in that slot. I'm, I'm gonna take this apart. I'm thinking that I have to, I think that this is pretty much a casing. And I think what I'm gonna have to do is uh, take these Phillips head bolts out, screws, and see if I can't retrofit the other one, the other, the new speaker in this casing. There we go. All right. All right, so this is the old speaker and this is the new speaker. They are the same size. Uh, the outside framing of it is a little bit bigger on the new one, but I don't think it'd be a problem. So with that being said, you know what I'm saying? Let's see if we can get this joint retrofitted. Oh yeah, it fits perfect. All right, so I think what I'm about to do is 
probably not gonna be able to reuse the uh, bolts that came out of the OEM one, but luckily um, these speakers do come with their own screws, so I think I'll use these. All right, so there we have it, man. Um, I don't know how center it is, but it ain't going nowhere for sure. So basically, I won't be reusing the OEM covers because they're beat. Um, yeah. So I used the cover that came with the speakers. It looks pretty good. Um, my tent's so dark, you're not really gonna be able to see it anyway, but um, yeah, so now this one's ready to go. I'm gonna do this one and then we'll put them back in the car. All right, so I got the new kicker speakers in. Pretty simple. The, the back is way simpler uh, than the front as far as getting the old speakers out. But um, just pretty much reverse engineer what you did. You can just drop the speaker in from the inside to make sure the screws line up, tighten them up. And then as far as the wiring, I did have to, uh, I did have to cut the old um, harness piece connector off, and then I had to basically just rewire those to the um, wires with the connectors already provided that came with the speakers, and that's pretty much it. And that's what they look like from the inside. They look pretty good, man. Pretty good. All right, so there's nothing to it but to just test it out, man. So let's hit play and see what it sounds like. Okay. All right, let me turn it up a little bit. Okay. 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 That's uh, that's that's not bad. I'm not gonna lie. Uh, yeah, yeah, that was that was tough. So I'm going from. When I bought the car, it only had a one when I, one blown speaker on the driver's side door. The rest of them were shot from the get-go. So, it automatically sounds good to me. But, let's say if I put it in comparison to, like, the Audi. The Audi has more bass. But, I could if I wanted to, I could throw, like, a little 8-inch sub in the trunk if I wanted to. But... That's not the purpose. The purpose was just, you know, for a little bit longer rides to have some music if I wanted it to. I love the end, the sound of the engine, to be honest with you. But there are some times where I wouldn't mind having some music, which is why I did replace the speakers. But with that being said, hey, you know what I'm saying? These joints sound good, man. So, again, if you guys are looking to replace your speakers, now you know how. So, the only thing that's left is scroll down. And hit that link in the description and go ahead and get you some speakers. So yeah, with that being said, uh, if you like the video, hit that like button, man. And if uh, if you found it informational and you learned something, hit that share button. And if you're new, you see that right there? Yeah, go ahead and hit that. And I'll see you guys on the next one. The grand opening. I come through and start smoking shit. I'm creeping up while I'm approaching you. Mm -hmm.